Hi, my name is Nathaniel, and today I'm going to do a trick with the Rubik's Cube. And at the moment, this Rubik's Cube is completely solved. And this was like representation of when we were created in a, on Earth. And this is our sin. This represents our sin. And when we were first created with Adam and Eve, we were a perfect Rubik's Cube designed in God's image. But as you and I know, we fell from that perfectness. When Eve first ate the fruit, it's like a, a turn on a Rubik's Cube. You end up sinning more. And then Adam ate the fruit, that's another turn. And as time's gone on, we've kept sinning and sinning and sinning and sinning. But for most of us, a Rubik's Cube seems completely impossible to solve. And for all of us, our sin is completely impossible to solve. We can't solve it without God and without being able to get back to perfection because none of us are perfect. And the first time we sin, we are then completely unperfect from that point on. And we can't get back the sin we've already done. We've crossed the line. So I'm going to move the camera close so you can see the trick. And I'll back them in. So as you can see, we've got a completely messed up Rubik's Cube. And this is a representation of our sin. And for most of us, this looks completely impossible to solve. But if we take this as our sin to God, this is not an impossibility to solve because he's perfect and Jesus was perfect. And when Jesus went on the cross, he died for us so that we could accept him, believe in him and ask him to forgive us for our sins and we could live for him. And that's kind of amazing really that he would go and do that for us and this bag represents Jesus' blood and as our sin goes in the bag it's like Jesus washing away our sins and washing us as we accept him and ask him to forgive us and it brings out a completely sold Rubik's Cube but I know what you're all thinking, that there's going to be another cube in the back. And you would be technically correct, but actually it's a little cube, a little mini Rubik's Cube. And that's because to God, our sins are easy to solve. To us we think it's a whole Rubik's Cube, it's a big Rubik's Cube, but to God it's kind of a little small one. Because he can easily solve it when he died for us. And he did. But you have to accept him for him. And you have to accept that he died for you. And you have to t live with him inside of you. But, of course, there was nothing left in the bag. Because God tells you everything that you need to know. If you read his word and trust him. So thank you very much for watching.